hey guys welcome to my vlog my name is Elsie Godwin and thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching if this is your first time of seeing my vlog basically I share lifestyle videos and then I rant like this one so this is where I'm going to rant about period cramps or menstrual cramps however you want to call it so yeah that's what I'm going to talk about today don't even do that face you're watching this to the end don't go anywhere yes you're watching I'm sure you're wondering why Elsie wants to start talking about her period pains and all that and that's the point that is why I'm doing this because I believe you should not be wondering why Elsie wants to talk about something half of the world is talking about okay I heard they said there are more men than women <laughs> I don't know how true that is but this is me assuming that we have 50% men and 50% women it doesn't have to be correct but for the sake of this video, just agree with me that half of the world goes through menstrual pain, menstrual cramps, and it's something that should be normal to everybody. Something that we should talk about comfortably without having to wonder why this person is talking about it. However, I would fail to mention that this particular vlog was inspired by Plan International. Now, Plan International is a women-focused, non-profit organization and a few weeks ago they launched a campaign to create an official period emoji um, they believe that such symbol can wash away the social stigma around menstruation now according to cnet.com they believe emoji representing periods would help more girls and women to talk about their periods and the cramps and everything that go through that happens in that space without stigma like they'll be able to come out and talk about it especially on social media and in a positive way however this is very interesting to me because i remember when i had my first pain in the anus is it anus or anus my butt during my menstruation like that was my first ever experience and i think this was last two years i was crazy i went crazy i went to facebook I typed I just kept on typing and I poured it out so many people were not comfortable with the idea that I came out to talk about the pain I was feeling in my butt during my period but this is what happened it helped me understand that other women were going through the same thing I was going through that it wasn't wrong it wasn't different because I was worried although I used Google and then it was like oh some people were going through it but I felt oh I have not had this for over five to seven ten years I've been seeing my period and then suddenly it comes so I was really worried I needed to feel that other women are going through the same thing and that was what that post did for me I understood that I wasn't the only one that it was normal and all I could do was just beg God I told God please dear God take this one away I don't like it mm -mm. I don't like it it still happens and it's annoying not always but I don't like it na 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 so here are the period cramps and the PMS syndrome that I have gone through in my life. One thing about me is that it is not constant. I may feel this next month and feel this the other month or I feel everything at the same time this month. I remember one particular year, I think it was just probably me two years into this whole period thing or three years and my mom was alive then. First, let me thank God I have not gone through that any again. Like, it has not happened and I hope it never happens. It felt like I was going to die. Like, this was coming after a time where I didn't even know there was going to be a pain during my menstruation. Like, it was just coming normal and it would go. The reason I know is that, okay, I had a heavy flow. But that one, I was vomiting. I was sick to my head, to my stomach, my legs. I could not stand the truth is I cannot explain it, but it happened and I'm praying it does not happen again. That happened once in a lifetime. So if you've ever gone through that or gone through one type of pain that has not come back again, please share with me. I want to know. So yes, one of the things I go through is sleep. There are months I just sleep, like I sleep from morning till night. I just want to sleep. My eyes are swollen. Once I put my head somewhere, I am gone. That comes with some months. Basically, all my cramps don't happen um, the same way like this month might be cool next month might be crazy next month might just be a combination of everything And then another thing is I have enlarged boobs. I think most people get that I have abdominal pain 
oh god i think this one is called start with me like the lower region is just crazy it hurts and then the inner pain, <clears throat> the butt pain the sharp pain in the butt that one eh, i hate it i sincerely do hate it and then i have the ones that come with lots of appetite i don't eat i just don't want to eat anything i'm not hungry and i'm fine i could just stay the whole day without eating i just keep drinking water and of course most of in fact i think all comes with cold <laughs> i was telling my friend that my husband I have to be ready because when i'm on my period we are sleeping without ac and without fan because i feel really cold of course i have to move to another room but that is one of the things i go through when i am on my period it's just another of the thing i go through is breakouts now look at my face um compared to the last one my face is better i mean i have no makeup on and i can slay but there are some months that come with crazy breakouts my face there was a time it comes on my chest like and i'm the kind of person that love off shoulders i don't show my boobs a lot i don't show my cleavage but i love showing my chest because it's beautiful you know it's just i feel like my chest is enough without um necklaces and all that so i just love showing it but this period we come with pimples rashes on my chest i'm happy that doesn't happen anymore like i'm so happy and i hope it doesn't come back after i've said this because i feel like periods have spirits when you say something they come with it so please don't come back and of course i have mood swings there are months that i feel like oh god why am i alone this is sad i want a hug this that that and there are months that are just cool like i really don't care then irritability i get irritated easily some months not every month so that don't try to use that against me and then anger of course it comes there's the crying no i've never experienced crying sorry no i haven't so i know for some they have the crying but i know i have oversensitivity sometimes not always too I feel nervous, I feel anxious, and then the fatigue. So those are the um, period cramps I know I have gone through, and I know other women go through worse. Other women go ha go through different um, cramps or period pains or whatever you want to call it. But all I want to say is you should be comfortable talking about these things because I think it's even worse that you're going through something that you cannot talk about. I mean, you don't when you talk about it, like shh say this the guy should not hear this that that please if you want to tweet about it if that will help us i mean i don't know you personally but at least if i see your tweet i could just chat you up or send you a hug emoji and let you know that we understand what you're going through it is just what we have to go through i wish we can should I say riot so that God will change it? But there's nothing we can do, you know. But we go through this and we don't have to be ashamed to talk about them. We don't have to be ashamed to tell people that this is what is happening at this particular time so they can understand the pain. I mean, my male friends, everybody, all my male friends knows when I'm on my period. Except if they don't call me at the time or they just don't want to put the time in their head. Like, once you call me and I'm I'm like, guy, I'm on my period. My body's paining me. I can't. Whether you're a guy or a girl, that's the way I'm going to tell you. So, so truly, thanks to Plan International UK and truly, 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 we need a period emoji. An emoji that we can just send. I think that way people can get comfortable having knowledge of the fact that okay my friend is on her period my sister is on her period my aunt is on her period you know and i mean i can just wake up in the morning and i don't feel myself i could just drop the emoji on twitter so that everybody can stay clear because that period if you come to me and want to throw me i'm gonna throw you to the end you know i will we will kill ourselves together like we will die dear <laughs> so that's just it anyway that's all i have for you today my name is elsie godwin thank you for watching my youtube channel please subscribe 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 it means a lot to me and i love you Mwah. i'm having an event on the 27th of september it's called digital media talk and the theme for this year's event is blogging as a tool for social change so please check my website check my blog check my instagram check my twitter page and facebook page even on linkedin i'm elsie godwin everywhere there would there is a link for you to register to attend especially if you're in Lagos state i want to see you let's talk about how we can use these tools on social media to make a difference it's Social media is here to stay, so we have to use it for positive change.
if you are not using it then i think we're just wasting our time so social media is here to stay blogging is one of the tools that comes with social media and we must find ways to use these tools or this particular tool that we're talking about in this event to create change to help people come out of ignorance and make the world a better place so join me on the 27th of september for this event don't worry i'm sure you'll see my details around thank you for watching i love you i love you remember to follow me on twitter instagram snapchat lcec and visit my blog <coughs> bye